Adding sound to an animation isn't hard to do, but there is some trickiness about it. Yet, it's important. Audio can enhance an animation. I don't read many cartoons that I watch on TV. I don't read many animated movies. I listen to things. And because I listen to things, there's sound in it. There's people recording things. There's sound effects. There's songs in the background. And it's trick. And we need the sound because it conveys emotion. It tells me if I should be feeling sad or happy or glad or what is being presented. What do I need to hear? What do I need to learn? But it's tricky because it's often copyrighted. So I can't just steal a Dolly Parton song and put it in my animation. Um, so I have to be very, very careful with copyrighted um, material. But in my classes, in this, these tutorials, we're going to use soundbible.com. I have a whole lot of sound effects. So if I scroll down here, the way this website works and audio websites all work differently. You just kind of have to work how, figure out how they work. Is It gives you how long the sound is, which is important because we know that there are 12 frames for every second. So if I want to... There's a two second sound right here. This is great because I only have to animate for 24 frames. I always love short and um, short sound files. So I'm probably gonna download this in a minute, but I also want you to know that if I need a clapping sound, I can search for something and see what pops up. It's a pretty decent clapping sound. There are several clapping sounds here, but I'm gonna go back and get that two second service bell. So here's the two second service bell to ring for help. So how to download it from this website, soundbible.com. I'm gonna click on the name of the file and it's always underneath. Sometimes it gives you an advertisement. If you get an advertisement, you're gonna hit back and click on it again. In this case, there's still an advertisement, but I can scroll down and see the sound. And it gives me a choice of MP3 and WAV. A WAV file is what I want for Wic Editor. So to save the file, I can hear it again if I want to. Still like the sound, I'm ready to download it. I'm gonna right click on the WAV file and I wanna uh, hit something about saving a link as. Save link as. And at this point, I just wanna make sure that it's an audio file, it's WAV audio file, which it is. And I'm gonna call this bell. Um, it had a really long name there. Sometimes I like to shorten them up something I can remember what it is and then hit save. So I do have that file on my computer right now. Usually it'll just download on my computer. I do need to hit keep. So I want to save that file. But sometimes I want a recording of something. So on another website in these tutorials we're going to use is bareaudiotool.com. Bareaudiotool.com and I'll put both of these links in the description they will be there. Again, there's some information at the top. I just need to scroll down past it. There is a record. I do need to have a microphone hooked up to this, um, but I, I'm going to hit record and it doesn't even start recording. I have the um, opportunity to take a breath, take a breather, take a moment and think of what I'm going to say or what I need to record. And when I'm ready to record, I can hit start record. When I'm done, I can hit stop record. Hello, this is Black Creek Shareables. I can hear it. Hello, this is Black Creek Shareables. Now, I know we don't always love the sound of our voice, but um, we do need sometimes dialogue recorded. Um, we don't like to read text in an animation. So now that I recorded it, I can import it and I can even edit it down. This is something I would have to animate. I don't want to animate it, so I'm gonna delete that. Is there anything on the end? I'm gonna delete that. Hello, this is Black so I did pause in here. I'm gonna delete a little bit this because it's just over two seconds. I'm gonna to try to get that down as best as I can. That pause is gone, I edit it out. So I'm ready to save this file. Now from Bear Audio Tools, at the bottom there is a save feature for to work in Wic Editor, I wanna hit wave and save. Now it doesn't give me a place to put my name in it, but I'm gonna pay attention to what the name um, looks like when it's downloaded in my taskbar, so export one. 
So I have a bell file and export one. So I have two audio files and I want to put them in my WIC editor file. So to, to have anything moved into here, I want to upload some more assets. So in my asset library, there is an upload button and I'm going to go to my download files. I know I have a bell and an export one file. So I just brought those in there. And now I want to apply them. They're not images, so I just can't drag them on the screen. Um, but I can add new layer. And on this layer, I'm going to add my first frame or add a frame where I want the sound to start. And now I see there's an opportunity to add a sound. And it gives me both options, the bell or the export. And I want this to last for the two seconds. So I'm going to drag this out. And you can see that you can actually see the wave and you can see where it ends. And if I hit play, I have that bell. The same thing would work with my recording um, about hello, this is Black Creek Shareables. So you can put in an audio file. You can record, you can download sounds. Um, those are the best ways to get an audio file inside your animation.